The name of the game is speed. The name of the game is dedication, and the name of the game is doing it right. Time is crucial, it's critical when having a heart attack. The time from arrival to the hospital till the artery is open is about 34 minutes. It's the shortest in Israel, and I think it's one of the shortest time in the world. Patient suffer from uh, a heart attack, he's got a chest pain, calls Magen David, they get as fast as possible to his house, do the diagnosis, and it's a matter of minutes. They immediately call our physicians, weekend or nighttime, they actually turn on the system. And what, when the patient arrives to the hospital, the team is already at the cath lab, ready to work. And it pays. Our medical center is well known for the excellent medical research that is done applying the knowledge that we get from our patients. It helps us in developing new ways of treatment that would improve our patient health. This may actually sound like science fiction, but now you don't need to open up the chest, no open heart surgery, no use of cardio bypass machines in order to replace the aortic valve. You can get through the groin by puncture and bring the valve to its place, open it up, and there is a new functioning valve. Tavi, or Taver as the Americans are calling it. We have started uh, doing Tavi in Adassa uh, almost six years ago. We're almost pioneers in this uh, procedure and taking good care of our patients in a minimally invasive uh, way. Actually, just recently, I got calls, emails, phones from Hadassah ladies in the US asking me, Chaim, can you refer us to physicians that are doing your procedure? And I said, of course. Ephraim Zurov, the famous Nazi hunter, who's actually our hero, he's the one uh, for whom the old Nazis cannot go to sleep because they know that he's still hunting. I would characterize my job as one of the most frustrating jobs in the world, not only because of the danger, but because of the practical obstacles that I face in trying to bring these people to justice. Out of the blue, one morning I woke up with incredible pain in the chest and back, and it turns out I had a heart attack and was hospitalized. I'm married, I have four children, nine grandchildren, and two more on the way. An attempt to, to put in a stent had failed. And I realized that if that stent is not put in, I'm always gonna feel as if I'm like a ticking bomb. And I consulted friends who knew the staff at Adassa, and they recommended Professor Chaim Dannenberg, we struggled with this closed artery. We were successful. It took us a little time. It took some uh, new technology and a lot of perseverance. He succeeded. You could say restoring me to not only full health, but a confidence in my, in my health. Here in Adassa, we can take good care of our patients. If the patient arrives fast to the hospital, we can do almost anything. When you're giving money and donating to our equipment, to our facility, and when I'm saving lives here in Adassa, I'm part of you and you're part of my team here. The people of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, deserves to have the best cath labs. And I think that the new cath labs in the Sarah Westman Davidson Hospital Tower would help us provide the best medical care to our patients. It goes directly taking good care of the people of Jerusalem, people of Israel, and saving lives.